Hi guys, Linux Mint 17.1 installation tutorial, welcome. We are running on VirtualBox actually, so once you will start it up, it will be your live Linux Mint 17.1 with all the functionality, all the programs, as you can see. Let's have a look on our system preferences. If you scroll down, there is a system info where we see the Linux Mint 17.1 Cinnamon 64-bit. So let's install it. Just double click on install Linux Mint icon and wait for it. Choose a language. There are two requirements, 9.2 gigs of available space and connection to the internet, so we have all. And now the installation type. I recommend to erase disk and install Linux Mint on an empty place. You can also encrypt the new Linux Mint installation for security, which will require your password uh, each time you just boot your uh, system. Here just uh, set your security key which you'll be prompt for in a boot you can also check the overwrite empty disk space which will make it uh, much more secure but will take also much longer so you'll skip it and just click on install now So I, I confirmed that uh, there will be two disks, one for data and one for swapping. Now we are selecting the time zone. Depending on the time zone you will select, it also select or pre-select your uh, keyboard. Yeah. So now we have Italian, but uh, we'd like the US keyboard. Here it is. And continue. Last step your name. We are the Vertec and the password. You can log in automatically, but we will require the password to, to log into the system. And I click next. Now there will be a longer part of the copying files, which we will speed it up. After that, there is an installation of the whole system, which will take like um, 10 minutes. So now we are done, and uh, let's restart the computer to see if the installation was successful or not. During the boot sequence, you should be asked or prompted for, for the password you set for encryption of the disk, which is this dialog. So just enter the password 
you said. And that's it. So now we are in our Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca on Cinnamon 64 bit is installed and ready for use. There's only one thing which remains. Once we close this dialog, then we should uh, check the updates. And yeah, the menu is working. If we go to preferences, system info, you see that uh, everything is okay. Computer is working as well. And there should be this icon on the right, right corner. Which is the update manager, uh, which should be updated prior to take new updates for your Linux Mint 17.1. So we download uh, the new update manager, which will require your computer's password. And once it will be installed, you should see the whole checklist of updates which are available at the moment for your Linux Mint 17.1 Yes here it is. So as you can see there are more than 100 recommended updates available for this installation. There are several levels or types so I will select all and install updates. This will take actually much longer than the installation process so we will speed it up again. You'll be prompt for your password After the installation will be completed, the system will reboot. And that should be the end. So now we are ready for use with the Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.